In this video, we're going to use the discriminant to tell us about the solutions when we solve these quadratic equations. We're actually not going to use the whole quadratic formula. We're just going to look at what the discriminant tells us. So I'm going to jump in and get started. The, um, typically, you're going to have equations in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And if they're not in this form, you will manipulate them until you so that you can write them in this format. When you do, you'll be able to identify values of a, b, and c. And in the first example that we have, that tells us that a is 3, b is negative 5, and c is negative 6. We're going to take those numbers and just analyze what the discriminant looks like. Because it's underneath the radical, it's the part that's going to be added and subtracted, and it's a, it's a really important part of what the solution is going to be. So let's take the b squared minus 4ac and plug those values in. And when you do and evaluate, you're going to get a positive 97. Now remember, this is the square root part of the equation. And the square root of 97 is irrational and real. So that right there tells you what your solutions are going to look like. Because when you put a plus square root of 97 and a minus square root of 97 into your formula, your equation is going to have two irrational real solutions. All right, let's take a look at the second example. In this one, a is 3, b is negative 4, and c is positive 1. We're going to look at the discriminant again, just the b squared minus 4ac, plug the numbers in and evaluate and get a positive 4. Remember, again, this is the, what's going to go underneath the radical. Square root of 4 is 2, which is rational and real. And when you put that into the formula, you're going to get a plus 2 and a minus 2. So that tells you that this equation has two rational real solutions because you're you're not going to have, once you evaluate the radical, you're going to have integer solutions or possibly fraction or decimal solutions, but they're not going to be irrational. They're going to be rational. Let's look at two more examples of what might happen with the discriminant. In this third example, a is 8, b is negative 2, and c is positive 4. And when you plug those values into b squared minus 4ac, again, just the discriminant, you're going to get a negative 124. And the square root of any negative number is imaginary. So that tells you that when you put this into the formula, you are going to be working with i's, with those imaginary numbers, and that this equation is going to have two imaginary solutions. And the final thing that might happen in this final example, a is negative 2, b is positive 8 and c is negative 8. When you plug those numbers into b squared minus 4ac and evaluate them, you will find that they equal 0. Well, the square root of 0 is a special case because the square root of 0 is 0. And when you plug that in for the discriminant and you add and subtract, it's not going to make any difference. It's going to just go away. So you're going, to ident you're going to end up with two identical answers. But what we're going to call this is one repeated real solution. So that is the fourth example of what might happen when you explore the discriminant. Um, I do wish you well as you work on these, and I do encourage you to work with the discriminant first as you, um, as you apply the quadratic formula. So good luck, and ask your instructor if you have any questions.